Now I'm pleased to be joined by an amazing group of leaders with a depth of knowledge and involvement in shaping the employee experience inside their own world-renowned organizations. I'm here with Josh Burson, who is widely recognized as one of the foremost industry experts on employee experience, Neeraj Tomari, CIO of the Coca-Cola Company, Steve McChrystal, CTO of Unilever, and Microsoft's own Chief People Officer, Kathleen Hogan. Thank you all so much for joining me. We're gonna start off, Josh, with a question for you. Um, what are some of the challenges organizations are facing with employee experience today, and, and what do you see as the opportunity before us to help them solve those challenges? It's a hugely complicated multi-product multi market, and there really isn't a platform yet that can integrate it all together. And so I, a couple of years ago, as, as an analyst, I wrote a big piece on something which I called the employee experience platform, and it was really more of an idea uh, than a reality. And I think Microsoft, because of the nature of your products and of course the size and scale of what you do, you have the opportunity to be that integrating platform. Thanks, Josh. Really appreciate your insights and your vision. Um, Neeraj, uh, um, what's been your experience both prior and amid the current pandemic, especially in terms of engaging and supporting Coca-Cola's diverse global employee base? Yeah, thanks, Jared, for the question. Scale is not only a critical component of what we do, but it's also a key leverage point for us, given that we operate in almost every part of the world. So having connected technology platforms make it easier for success to travel from one part of the world to another. We're looking at how can all these solutions be connected in a seamless way that ultimately makes it easier for our employees to do their jobs. Whether we work remote or in the offices doesn't matter. And I think that's what COVID has taught us is regardless of where we are, we can actually make the work environment simpler and the underlying platforms play a major role in it. Thank you. Steve, Unilever I know has invested for a long time in employee experience. How would you characterize the impact that the work you're doing here on employee experience has had overall to date and what do you expect in the future? So when we kind of moved towards, uh, towards a lockdown mode and, and having to move our whole, uh, the whole operation to work remotely, we were quite well prepared for that. The other thing, Jared, that we've really experienced is the, uh, the, the importance of well-being. Of course, there's a physical well-being, and so we have you know, techniques and tools we've been applying to figure out, are people safe and healthy? Um, but that, employ that, that also links to the, their, their well-being and their emotional uh, wellness, right? And, and, and that has become really hot for us right now. How do we understand how people are coping during these times? We really uh, worry about that. We feel we have a responsibility to help people on that front. Um, we use some of the workplace analytics, I think, which is, which is really interesting, I have to say, because we had workplace analytics in place for, for, for some time. And it was kind of interesting. You know, we'd look at it a little bit, sort of see kind of what the trends were, et cetera. You know, now it is, it's become a little bit of the lifeblood for us because now we can easily see, if we look at it in aggregate, we can see which teams are stretched. You know, are there leaders that we need to work with to help them do something different to enable their employees to get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of support? Really appreciate your insight on that. Thank you, Steve. Kathleen, very excited to have you here with us. I really appreciate the partnership that we have had. Um, your team has just been integral, as you well know, to all of the work we've been doing on Viva and this entire space. I, I wanna talk a little bit about your work inside of Microsoft. You've been a big advocate of putting people first from the very beginning. How's the partnership between HR, IT, and other leaders in the companies changed in the recent months as we have you know, gone through the pandemic together, still in the middle of it, and as we think about the employee experience? You know, I think as CHROs, we've been focused forever about attracting, developing, retaining exceptional talent and really using, you know, great experiences to change the trajectory of the business. But I think um, the last year we've been focusing, uh, and I think it's been said, taking care of our employees, you know, really focusing on just not physical well-being, but also mental health and really thinking about our employees um, from that uh, dimension huge focus on our managers, just given this unprecedented time, how do we help our managers model coach and care uh, for our employees? Um, how do we help our managers with the insights to do that? Really having that pulse on employee sentiment, really help our managers make good decisions. How do you onboard folks who've never met their manager? How do you have team meetings that are all digital, but you still have that emotion? 
Um, how do you train and, and, and help folks uh, in terms of continuing to build their skills? And uh, I think that partnership with IT has been absolutely essential. You know, another really important aspect of this introduction to me is that many companies don't have massive IT departments that can stitch together all of these employee applications. So they want a platform that's an integration, easy to use destination for employees to do their work and improve their employee experience and interact with HR and learning and well-being and all the other things they need to do. And I think that's what Viva is all about, is being that platform um, you know, for all sizes of companies. I would just say, as I talk with my peers, uh, similar to Microsoft, they, they have disparate systems that they're looking to integrate so they can deliver those insights to managers, so they can deliver that simplified, great experience to employees. And they're asking for help because they want to deliver that for their employees, for their managers, uh, but they need that integration. And uh, as they look at what we're doing at Microsoft, often they say, can you just give that to us? Well, that's the perfect note to finish on. Thank you all so much for your time today and we wish you the best. Viva is the first step in a journey as we work to help our customers foster well-being, belonging, and growth for every person in their organization. Be sure to learn more at our new Viva product hub and thank you for joining today. Goodbye.